You've come to the right place if you're looking for rock-solid businesses with a strong track record of success. In fact, there are some businesses that have an exceedingly higher success rate than others, and it's these kind of businesses with low failure rates that I will be talking about in today's video. Keep in mind that according to the Bureau of Labor Statistics, around 20% of new enterprises fail within the first two years. 45% within the first 5 years, and 65% within the first 10 years of operation. Even knowing that most enterprises have no idea what they're doing, the choice of the business to start remains crucial and will set you up for success or failure. I'm confident that by the end of the video, you will have found the perfect one for you. Now, let's look at the first business, the healthcare business. From pharmacies, clinics, dentistry, among other services, healthcare is a fast-paced sector with several future prospects. However, there are some concerns about cost, complexity, and uncertainty that may make this sector unsettling. But with the right approach, this is among the businesses that will never fail. Whether you're an investor, businessman, entrepreneur, or inventor, you should try your luck since healthcare prospects are set to rise enormously in the future. According to statistics gathered by Policy Advice, studies show that in most wealthy nations, healthcare consumes more than 10% of GDP. The same study said that this percentage is continuously increasing in the United States. This is unsurprising given that the healthcare industry is the largest employer in the United States. In fact, the United States spends far more on healthcare than the rest of the globe. The global health industry was worth $8.45 trillion in 2018. Current data shows that healthcare is one of the world's largest and fastest growing sectors. During the COVID-19 pandemic, doctors and nurses faced immense pressure attending to a large number of patients. Consequently, many people turned to smaller medical centers or clinics instead of queuing in general hospitals, primarily due to fears of virus transmission. I hope you are taking notes on this. Now, let's look at the second business, the transportation business. If you start with a good business strategy, you may make a lot of money in the transportation industry. There are several prospects in this area, but you must first analyze the existing demand depending on their geographical region. Transportation also includes vital features such as ambulances, medical emergency, outstation shifting, and so on. Furthermore, traffic congestion in numerous major cities has paved the way for public and private transportation to coexist on the roadways. As a result, a large number of individuals rely substantially on transportation. In light of the foregoing, the transportation industry has experienced a dramatic surge in demand. The number of taxis, Ubers, and Lyfts on the road is increasing. It has proven to be a lucrative business, and many people consider it a viable startup concept. It is now simpler than ever to establish a transportation business thanks to the rise of e-commerce, the gig economy, and online platforms. So, what exactly is a transportation business, you may wonder? Well, basically, a transportation business is one that transports things or people for a fee from one location to another. A transportation business may take multiple forms, from a full-fledged long-haul trucking operation to a simple weekend side hustle driving for Uber and everything in between. And these sorts of enterprises have a 76.4% success rate. Your outcomes may vary, and specific transportation businesses may be more dangerous than others, but on average, you can expect a high success rate. Now, let's look at the third business, real estate. Andrew Carnegie is famously quoted as saying, 90% of all millionaires become so through owning real estate. Did you know that more money has been made in real estate than in all industrial investments combined? Therefore, it should come as no surprise that real estate investing has an enviable success record of 85.3%. Why is real estate such a lucrative venture? Well, you'll have monthly cash flow, your renters will pay down your mortgage for you, and your properties will go up in value over time. You have a formidable wealth generator when you combine these advantages with the fact that you can acquire rental homes with a loan and leverage your earnings even more. 
In addition, if you employ a property manager, your rental properties business can be set up to create passive income. But you don't need to hire a business to manage your properties. You could still handle all of them yourself, spending approximately 5 to 10 hours each month on each one. In my perspective, that's really passive. The agriculture business. This is the fourth business on our list because agriculture is one of the most important contributions to the global economy since it feeds billions of people every day. Agribusiness or agricultural business refers to the manufacture and sale of agricultural products such as farm equipment and supplies, machinery and other farm-related services. In addition to real farm activities, agriculture businesses are known for their resiliency and low failure rates. These can include a wide range of businesses, including farms and a variety of associated businesses. Agriculture firms have a phenomenal success rate of 88%. If you have a green thumb and an interest in farming or other agriculture-related industries, this might be the right opportunity for you. Now, let's look at the fifth one on our list, dump truck businesses. I bet you weren't expecting this, but here is out. The mining business. According to Small Biz Trends, the mining business has the highest survival rate of all industries with a 51.3% score. Starting a mining business is difficult and requires a large sum of money. However, there is a brilliant little backdoor approach to profiting from the mining industry's stability. Of course, if you live near a mine, there will always be a demand for dump trucks to transport coal or other commodities recovered from the mine. The best part is that starting a mining business does not require millions of dollars. An old dump truck can be purchased for as little as $15,000. The dump truck business is expanding rapidly, which means there are more driving opportunities available. Indeed, the dump truck service industry in the United States is projected to reach $20.64 billion by 2025, and that's just for large-scale mining and construction operations. There has never been a better moment to start a dump truck company than now. It's a different story when it comes to running a dump truck business. Companies offering their own dump truck services or outsourcing fleet labor create a need that provides significant opportunities for individuals just entering the space. Whether it's corporate or private delivery, dump trucks are very adaptable, allowing you to operate in a variety of industries other than mining. Even if you don't live near a mine, construction firms, landscapers, real estate flippers, and even residential property owners who need to dispose of significant volumes of trash may want your services. Now, let's explore the sixth business opportunity, the recycling business. Recycling is a business focused on collecting materials like paper, plastics, metals, and glass that can be used again instead of being thrown away and harming the environment. Recycling businesses can take various forms, from small-scale operations to larger recycling centers. What makes recycling attractive is its steady demand. People and companies are increasingly looking to recycle and reduce waste to protect our planet, and this makes the success rate incredibly high. By running a recycling business, you not only contribute to a greener world, but also open doors to insane profits. With a dedication to sustainable practices and a commitment to making a difference, entrepreneurs can find growth and success in this eco-conscious industry. And with that said, I'll leave you with this. A business that solves problems will never go out of the market. If you're an entrepreneur or planning to start a business soon, look for a problem that others are having and solve it with your product or service. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more weekly investment tips. Leave a comment below. Happy investing.